Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I think we've got a pretty exciting uh, video coming here for you. So, I'm in the 780 and uh, I'm heading towards the field right now. So, we're going to see what we can get done tonight. Alright, getting the head hooked up. Cody's not strong enough to hook the PTO by himself, so Dad had to do it. We're trying to get this new combine going, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, well I haven't filmed a whole lot because of trying to get this machine uh, figured out. Uh, trying to get the calibrations all put together and trying to get uh, all the features, trying to figure it out. So as you can see, I got my operator's manual out here. Uh, we're doing some calibrations right now on the yield. So we're going to go in here to match scale weight. Uh, 13,000 pounds is what we got. He's going to tell us what he's got. And then we'll type it in. 15,200. Alright, we're still off by a little bit here. I wonder why that's not fixing itself. Yeah, I don't know. So, anyways, that's what we're doing here. I'll get you some footage of uh, running the combine here in a minute. We're going to call it a night here. It is about 10 o'clock, so Cody's out there blowing the combine off. We're actually just going to run it up the road to the barn because it's uh, just a couple hundred feet away. So uh, we just have to take the head off, which was no big deal. So they're talking just a little bit of rain tonight, possibly. So I'm uh, not going to take the chance of the combine getting uh, real dirty on the uh, after the first day. So uh, we'll run it up there to the barn, no big deal. We got a little bit on the grain cart. So that'll go in the barn. We don't have to worry about it if it does rain. So anyways, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, I'm not for sure if we're going to combine tomorrow, but uh, if, if not, I'll uh, get you some footage of back in the combine. Got him in the shed for the night. Tuesday morning. Uh, I talked to you on Saturday whenever we were combining. Uh, we didn't combine any on Sunday, but we did yesterday. Uh, I was still trying to get the combine set in, uh, set up, so I just didn't film any, but we will be back at it today. So I'll make sure I get that for you right now. We are uh, working these stalks down here uh, where we combined yesterday. Uh, we got to get our uh, winter wheat planted in here so what we'll do is uh, we will take the spreader truck we will broadcast the wheat out after we have worked this down and then we will come back with this uh, McFarland tool and we'll work it back in and uh, every every time we've done this we've had a beautiful stand of wheat so uh, we like doing it this way rather than drilling it so uh, we'll probably do all of our wheat this way this year just looking at the way it's going to go so we'll get this uh, all worked down we try to work down as many of these stalks as we can in the fall whether we're planting cover crop or not uh, it seems like it uh, breaks down that residue a lot better it makes a lot better seed bed in the spring for soybeans so um, we try to get as many of these knocked down as we can but we just run out of time here in the 
fall whenever we're trying to combine. I mean, uh, combining is a priority above working this ground. So um, we try to get that done and we get what we can work down. But I uh, just finished up this little section. Probably go to lunch here in a minute. And then uh, we'll be in the combine after lunch. There's you a good look at the 780 there. I forgot my camera here, so had to stop by and get it out of the track. Alright, we just finished up this little field here. So we're gonna be moving back over that way to the bigger part. Uh, we had a different variety over there, so it's a little bit higher moisture. But we'll uh, combine that last today. We got a little bit more of this uh, 115 day and then we'll switch over to that 117 day so uh we'll go over here and get started all right well today is turned from a calm to an eventful day um so i was going along the woods down there earlier and there was a tree that was laid over in the field well i pulled back the hydrostat i was moving along probably four mile an hour so i uh hit the brakes well i didn't just hit one i didn't hit both brakes i hit one which caused the combine to shift to shift itself this way and it shifted the end snout right into the tree so uh we had an issue there where the snout had been out and then the gathering chain had came off the sprocket, broke, and got into the snapping roll. So we had to get a new gathering chain, which we had on hand. Uh, we had to fix the snout, which it turned out to be okay. And then we had to get a new knife for the snapping roll. So luckily, uh, they had a knife downtown at Ag Revolution, so that's good. Uh, so we got that back going probably an hour and a half to get that going but uh, at least we have the parts to get going today looks like we're gonna be able to finish here in the big field by the farm so uh, we'll be able to move on to another field now we'll probably move on right down the road from the farm and uh, we got some little patches down there we'll do but uh, Cody should be coming with the grain cart here any minute I don't know what he's doing I'm full of those so means he's running behind we're having a little bit of trouble with the new grain cart uh, I don't know if I've even really showed it to you guys on here but uh, it is the scale doesn't seem like it's uh, working correctly so we're gonna we got it loaded right now and it, it keeps saying it's going out of range like whenever we get it loaded pretty full so we got it loaded and it's out of range, so they're going to come look at it in the morning and see if they can figure anything out on it. Um, I mean, it is under warranty, so because it's brand new, so they need to get it fixed. Um, that way, it's working good because we like to calibrate the combine with the grain cart, and if the grain cart scale isn't working, then it's not very helpful. So we got the old grain cart running here now. We just wanted to make sure we had that other one full, so. Cody's getting along okay with the one grain cart, so. Like I said, we're about done here. Got a few more passes and we'll be finished up, so. All right, this should be the last unload here in this field. Uh, that should be everything. Um, and unless I've forgotten something, they chopped the top part of it for silage, so I'm not sure if there's anything left up there. I might grab the gator because it's sitting up there and right around and make sure that there's nothing left before I take the head off. All right, Cody got that unloaded on the truck. We're going to get down here and unhook the head, set it off, and then we'll drive back down to the farm. All right, we got the head off here, so we got to throw the straps on. Mmm, dusty. All right.
blew the combine off a little bit. I'll have to do it better when I get down there. But my leaf blower is about out of battery, so. There's Cody, there's Krista. There's the other grain cart. Got about everything out, so that's good. All right, let's head back down to the farm. All right, we just picked up the head, brought it down here to the farm. That way we're ready to go for tomorrow. We got everything parked down here.